flies. We all hate flies. I live by the river. I've got a load of midges, and I watched a lady do this in the south of France, and it really works. And it's great because we have a coffee, you use the plunger, you've got all that coffee left, or even in the little capsules, you get the coffee and you literally light the it. Grounds, the grounds. The grounds, yeah. yes. So once you've used it, you've enjoyed your coffee, get the grounds, so dry, dry mm. them, and then get a lighter and light it. And you do smell like a coffee shop. Yeah. But you'll have no flies. Really? Really? Yeah, honestly, it, works. it really works. And I watched this lady in the south of France do it and I was laughing, thinking, what's she doing? And this was outside? Outside, and it was because there were lots of midges around. And it completely disappeared. So you just get one of those oil yeah, burner things. Absolutely. No, 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 not even. You don't even have to do one of those. You've got no, a flame. no. Actually, you've done this slightly. Wrong. You can actually light the coffee. But you light the coffee itself. You light the coffee. I need a match to try and, that. And if you light matches. coffee, it acts like a, an incense stick. So it just smoulders. And it just keeps on smouldering, and it will smoulder for hours oh, I need to get hours. a lighter, and I need to get it's some matches and brilliant. try that in a sec. Absolutely brilliant. Mm. So then the other thing is, and a lot of these things, are, is it, you just you want something at hand really, really quickly. Stale bread. Stale bread, once it goes stale, it's quite abrasive, if you feel that. Yeah. And it yeah. feels actually like a scrubber. Mm. Scrubbing brush. <laughs> Didn't actually mean you that. You said it first. I did. <laughs> so if you get some bread and you rub it... It's great on, for cleaning look, school boards. Absolutely, yes. So what are you saying? Marks on the wall? Yeah, marks, marks on, on the your wall, kitchen marks cupboards. anywhere. You can use stale bread instead of throwing it away and it will clean it Especially up. Especially on the wall, because I'm always worried about taking the colour, you know, the paint colour oh, off I think if you, you it, clean a wall. And again, that's why, that's why white vinegar is really good, because it doesn't strip. It just so you takes could use off. that if you Absolutely. had a mark on the wall as well. Of course you could, and you could use it if you've got it on your clothes. It's not going to yeah. damage your clothes. So your you house is going to smell of coffee, vinegar, and bread. Yes, but that smells really nice. Good. If and you do like you know what? Do you know what the question is? What does a clean house smell of? Nothing. 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 Yeah. Nothing. Good point. Venetian blinds. A lot of people have blinds. We have blinds and then we have those American shutters. Yeah. They're a pain to clean. Yeah. What you do is you get your barbecue tongs and you wrap them with some... I've put them... You can put anything on them, really, that's, but I've used there some cloths and you just stick an elastic mm -hmm. band around them. Mm -hmm. And then, with these, your little weapon, you go to your Venetian blinds and you just run them across. It's that easy. And that's a really good one. That's and that's very effect. satisfying. It's very satisfying. And the other thing you can do, and I always go on about this damp dusting, which means you're not moving dust from one place to another. Spray it on like that, and then you're not moving the dust around too much. It's genius. Well, that's the alternative one. is to take them down and soak <laughs> them in the bath, which you don't really want to do. Oh, gosh, blind. no, that would be Ooh, a mess. No, that would be a Come around here to the vacuum cleaner. That's a job. What we're going to do with this is, you know that there was that advert that we all went wild. It was called Shaken Something. Shaken yeah. Something, da, da, yes. Da, 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 da. Do this, put that on your carpet overnight. Next morning, back it all up. <laughs> and what it will have done, it will have... It will have soaked up the aroma or any dirt, grease, cats, dogs, cats, dogs was that anything baking like soda that. Again? Baking soda. Baking soda. Baking soda. Back again. to baking soda. And then we have Matt. Now I recognise this young now, man. But normally he's got his clothes this on. This is the final. This thing. is Matt. You know our when... studio runner. <laughs> This is a great tip. You know when you're on holiday and you want to get into the car, you maybe want to get onto the train or the bus or whatever, and you've got sand all over you, the best way to get sand off you, because it'll be wet, is with talcum powder. So right. you throw the talcum powder over your child. Now, can we pretend that Matt is eight? He's actually 21, but he's got sand all over him, so we put talcum powder over him like that, and then we rub it off. <coughs> and what happens is the talcum powder soaks up the sand, it soaks up all the damp, and the other thing is it actually doesn't hurt, does it? It's quite nice, because otherwise... Yeah. You've just been powder. rubbed down <laughs> on television, national television, yeah. by Anthea Turner. Matt, How are you thanks, feeling? Thanks Good. for doing that, Matt. She wanted me to do that bit. I said no. <laughs> but as I say, normally you'd be doing this on a child. So yes. imagine Matt's about there. We couldn't find and a child today. <laughs> he behaves like he's eight sometimes. It, it does feel better, doesn't it? My I can't that's say enough, I'm not enjoying That's this. enough, Anthea. <laughs> that's enough. You're enjoying yeah. that a bit too, <laughs> much. too much. Thank you so right. much. It's